the next piece I have in the packet right now is Southside Blues. And Southside Blues has the most interesting rhythms in it. It has the most different rhythms and the most syncopated rhythms. So the first thing I suggest we do is clap through those rhythms. In the first measure with notes, that's the easy one. Four quarter notes. One, two, three, four. After that, it gets a little more interesting. Measure two. Quarter, quarter, eighth, eighth, quarter. One, two, three, and four. Measure three. Quarter, quarter, eighth quarter. That's dotted. This is our new note in this piece. A dotted quarter note is between a half note and a quarter note as far as how long it lasts. A dotted quarter note lasts three eighth beats. So if this is the eighth note beat, it lasts that long. Here's measure three. One, two, three, and. One, two, three, and. Now what I want to do is put the first four measures together. One, two, here we clap. Let me do that one again. I was afraid my violin was going to fall, and I forgot to count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four. That's the first four measures. Look at the next four measures. Are they the same rhythm or a different rhythm? They are certainly a different pitch. not written in. Please write it in. Circle one, south side blues, continue. Good luck with all of those different rhythms. As I said before, say it, clap it, play it on an open string or pizzicato on an open string. Tap on your instruments good too. And with the notes, make sure you're writing in fingerings if you need them. Look up your note names if you have to and recognize which string the notes live on and start to memorize where that is in the music staff. Remember, it's like a map that tells you where the fingers go and how long we play the bow. Good luck. Hello, this next video is about the French folk song for the violin part, violin part one. In French folk song, we have the same bow pattern over and over. So if you've used my warm-ups, you're really familiar with this bow pattern. But if you haven't done any of the warm-ups yet, get used to this bow pattern. Here's where I like to start first. One measure of quarter notes, one measure of a dotted half note, like this. One, two, three, long, up, bow. One, two, three, long, up, bow. The most important thing about that is changing your bow speed to match the length of the note. Quarter notes have this bow speed. The dotted half note is much slower. One, two, three. It's a bow speed that lasts at least three beats. Okay, so from the beginning, that's step one. Step two is then to try three measures of quarter notes and then the dotted half note. And in any open string you like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, long, up, bow, on a D. And 
after that, it's just being able to know your notes. And you'll find that many of the notes in this piece go by scale, uh, that is by step. So for example, in the beginning, three, two, one, two, three, A. Three, two, one, two, three, one, D. O, one, two, O, one, two, O, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, A. Three, two, one, A, three, two, one, O, one, O. All right, here is French folk song from the beginning. One, two, three, one, ready, play. up to letter E. Now at letter E, other musicians get to play the melody, but we play a harmony part. So letter E up to letter G is the harmony part, which means we don't need to play as loud. end of French folk song, there is something called a ritardando, which is a gradual slowing down of the music. That gets controlled by your director or your conductor, and they decide how quickly you will slow down, or how much slow down there will be at all. That's French folk song. Mars Walk. In the beginning of Mars Walk, for the violin part, you have what are called tremolos, which is very fast bow motion on the string. You can practice this on open strings first. And each half note is also accented, so we give it a little burst of power and speed at the beginning of each note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That can feel a little weird to go from fast bow to a bow like that. The other new thing, a couple of new things in this piece, is low one on the E string, or A string for the viola part. That happens right before letter B and right before letter H in the piece. The last thing that, gets, that happens in this piece is we play a low two. That's where our second finger is, plays close to our first finger. So normally second finger is about right there. One, two. Now it's gonna be nice and close to the second finger. That means that we're gonna be playing F natural with the second finger instead of F sharp. A good way to practice. Is to find all those notes in a row and then try it with the bow. I should have put that in my warm-up. Here is Mars Walk from the beginning. One. Cello to play here. One more measure. Here it is. Quarter notes. Here's letter B.
Notice there's no more tremolo on those notes. Place your bow on the stand. Now, the line means let it ring. Hold your finger down so it rings longer. Measures to pick up your bow. Three, four, one, two, two before G. G. This one fades out with a decrescendo and just vanish. And that's one as well. Good luck with those new skills of low one and low second finger. All right, well, this is about stand up, sit down, rock, rock, rock. And instead of starting in the beginning on measure one, I recommend that you start at the two quarter notes before measure 18. This is the big melody in the piece, and the violins get to play it proudly. It starts on second finger, and you think one, two. And you'll notice in the music it says tip. That means they, that we want you to get the bow from the frog to the tip on the quarter note. Tip. changes from F sharp to F natural. So now it's time to use that low two again that we learned in Mars Walk. Now the next part is a lot of the same note. Our bow gets to do most of the work and our left hand gets to hold the note down. That's all page one. That's where I would start in this piece. You've got exactly the same music on page two. And the only difference is it's a very, a slightly different ending. I'll let your teacher teach you how to do the rest of that stuff because it's actually really, really fun to learn it from your teacher. I'll give you one hint though about the last two measures, our last three measures. We come in three measures before the end on eight eighth notes. Two, three, four, don't play. And I say don't play because that first rest on the last measure is supposed to be empty. So we need to put something there. Some people bob their head. Two, three, four, one. Some people might stomp their foot or tap something. Here's another option. I keep my bow away until I know I need it. Beginning starts slow, and this can be very challenging. Even though it's only seven measures long, I think this is the, needs the most time from us when we're practicing. So make sure you're doing those warm-ups with slurs to help us with this. All right, bend to nudo means always long. So all of these notes are going to feel like they're very stretched, as big and long as they can be. to the A string at measure five. We have our first slur. Back over to the D string. And then we shout, stand up, sit down, rock, 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 and off it goes. 
And that's what makes this piece uh, so fun. Back to that beginning. Let me play it again without talking. One, two, three. Down, rock, 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 boo doo boo boo. All right, good luck with that. It's a fun piece.